and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the Fluffed Endures. That's right, it's our first Meme Tier Monday deck. We got four really cool Meme Tier donation decks today. Um, and so excited to play these these ones here. Um, we got four new decks, four kind of decks that we haven't really ever played before. So it's going to be super exciting. All right, so our first one is going to be a Poro deck with Shadow Isles, which I, I could say I don't think I've ever done Poros with Shadow Isles. So we're going to have... Um, you know, like our Lonely Poro, Poro Herder, Mighty Poro. We're doing Poro stuff. We got Braum in here that's going to be making Mighty Poros. Um, but then we're also going to be uh, having a lot of other small units that are going to be dying. We're going to have Curse Keeper and Blighted Caretaker combo. We'll have Avalanche in here that can kill a bunch of small units. Maybe ours, maybe theirs. Um, if we have... Uh, let's see. But then let's let's get to our mid-game. So our mid-game, we're going to have Braum. We're going to have Troll Gifts to, to go along with the Braum, so we can make Braum a little bit bigger and uh, be challenging uh, things as a 2-7 instead of just an 0-5. We also got Scar Maiden Reaver in here to do some Overwhelm damage and be difficult to kill. Also another really good card with Troll Gifts. So we got that in the mid game, putting pressure on our opponent with that. And then in the late game, we got Heart of the Fluffed. Um, and basically what we have here is we kind of have a combo deck with Heart of the Fluffed. So if we, if we go Heart of the Fluffed and make a large... Uh, Poro, we get the, this big fluff to the Poros. Um, you know, like maybe we have like four other power of Poros in play. Like we have, um, you know, a mighty Poro um, and like a 1-1, one, one, right? Like that's that's pretty easy to have, like a mighty Poro and a 1-1. One, one. Well, now our heart of the fluff is now an 8-8 eight, eight overwhelm, you know, whenever it does this thing. And it has the last press. So we're going to have like this big 8-8 eight, eight overwhelm attacking them. And so they got to kill it. And so whenever they try to kill our, otherwise our 8-8 eight, is going to kill them. Whenever they try to kill our fluff to the Poros, we're going to be able to protect it with Gluttony. So we're going to have, because Gluttony kills an ally with Last Breath to summon a follower from your deck that costs one more. So we're going to have Heart of the Fluff, and then we're going to Gluttony this, because it has Last Breath. And then whenever we Gluttony, we do get the 4-4 four, four Heart of the Fluff back. Plus, then we'll go from 6 to something that costs one more, 7, They Who Endure. Boom. And now, now suddenly we have another huge Overwhelm. Um, attacker and they thought that they were going to get rid of our our big overwhelm but then boom gluttony um, turns our heart of the fluffed into a they who endure so that's our combo we got the fluffed endures so we're going to be using gluttony to turn heart of the fluffed into they who endure should be pretty cool um, we also got triple atrocity in here so if we're making big heart of the fluffs or making big they who endures we can also uh, kill our opponents with atrocity and finish that out. So we'll hopefully get like some overwhelm damage in with Scar Maiden Reaver, get their life to a little, a little lower, put a bunch of pressure on them with these, and then boom, atrocity. Um, and then even boom, Battle Fury. <laughs> get some booms in here. Um, so that should be a lot of fun. That should be a lot of fun. We can we even have Miss Call in here for like the super mega combo of um, you know, take, you know, if we do the the uh fluff to the poros, gluttony it, put in they who endure. And then miss call, and then put fluff to the poros back into play. I don't know exactly how that will work, but that, that could be pretty cool. I don't know. This is gonna be sweet. It's meme tier day. Let's have some fun. We're just playing over in normal, and so this is gonna be our first deck, the fluffed endures. Let's see what happens. Ooh, we got another opponent that's just trying to cheese out wins by making big overwhelm things with Riven and Shen. Shen's cool. So I, I like that we have the Curse Keeper Caretaker combo, and then we even have a, a Troll Gift Scar Maiden Reaver combo. I kind of want to just keep all of this. I think I will. Yeah, seems like a pretty good place to start. No, so Hush is not a card. We were never, we are never going to get anything Hushed today because nobody plays Hush. So don't, don't worry about Hush. We will face zero Hush today. Go get him, Curse Keeper. We each hold a world within. All right, good start for them. Well, we can technically Gluttony a Curse Keeper. It's not really what we want to do with Gluttony. 
because we will either hit Caretaker or Mighty Poro. We're gonna make a pretty big Scar Main Reaver. So right, it starts as a four five. We can use this as a six seven. We can use this as an eight nine. So just all damage to the Eye of the Dragon so that the, uh, the Eye of the Dragon will die to Avalanche. I was... Break the ties that bind. I was not hoping that they would... Um, block my... 4-3. I was hoping they, were, they would block the 2-1. All right, so they got both of their champions. That's bad news for me. It's kind of odd they give that one quick attack whenever that's going to already have barrier, right? Like if they attack with Shen and Riven, that would have a barrier. Maybe they're only going to attack with Riven. So like the Skarmaid with the Skarmaid Reaver having regeneration, I know I, I could have like blocked to the four one and set up another avalanche, but with this having regeneration. Um I guess I opened myself up to Ravenous Flock. I was thinking that there wasn't really anything at one mana, but I guess Ravenous Flock. Could have been opening up to that. Killing this Riven's not gonna be easy. But yeah, I think we'll have to maybe save the atrocity. So we could challenge the Eye of the Dragon instead of like this other 2-1, but I, I kind of like them not being able to heal their Nexus at all with this 2-1 right here. Ready yourself. Yeah, not, not surprised there. So this puts them down to 8. This does put them in lethal atrocity range with Scar Maiden Atrocity. Um, deny is always a card that we got to watch out for. The time for talk is over. So it's an eight five. Uh, that was a good blade fragment to make. It's a 10 5. Dang. It's 
Stop making the plus two. Oh, that's another weapon hill. I have so many plus twos. So the good news is they are, yeah, they are spending all this mana, right? So they only have two mana left. Um, so that probably means... So yeah, this is this is good they're spending all this mana. That probably means this atrocity is going to kill them. Unless they have, what, like the one mana heal your Nexus 3 card? Potion. No potion. Health potion. Yeah, that one. All right, there we go. GGs. Ooh, Aphelios Zoe. This is a mean deck to play in normals. Hopefully, no hush. I'll be sad if they ever cast a hush. All right, so what do we have? We have, like, They Who Endure, which we don't need right away. Where We have... Um, I like Brom, Scar, Maiden, Reaver, Curse Keeper. I like all of these. We'll mulligan Scar, Maiden, Reaver, though, also, with having the Brom, and just kind of yeah, try to fill out our curve a little bit better. The Flight. Flight's an underrated card. That's a good one drop. Hmm. I got two of them. Avalanche. Nope. So I'm gonna make them wait. I'm just gonna have them waste their turn. Follow along, little ones. My friend, you are lucky man. Follow along, little ones. My friend, you are lucky man. We're just dead next turn to elusives. Yeah, I guess I guess we're just dead next turn to elusives. <laughs> Sometimes you just draw too much of your combo, right? Too hard of the fluffs, too they who endures, too gluttonies. Yuck. All right, well that was that was a game. Okay, back to Aphelios, this time with Victor. Okay, good opening hand again. Um, I liked our opening hand last time though too, but then we just kind of ended up drawing, like basically every draw step was either a six or seven mana card or gluttony. Hopefully that's not the case this time. Uh, maybe it will be. <laughs> so far, first draw, another They Who Endure. Is that like seven draws in a row that have been either They Who Endure, Gluttony, or Heart of the Fluffed? That might be seven draws in a row of just those, just those cards. I don't, I don't know. No, I feel like we drew a Lonely Poro in there. Okay, we got Daring Poro. That's a good one to have. Like That would have been a good one to have last turn with the last game. With the two ones. Can't wait for Talia. It's only two days away. For Talia. Nice. I have Sago. Almost there. 
Okay. Back to us. Go get him, Poros. Well, that's too bad. How do I deal with this thing? They're going to get all these gems, so if I block with like the 3-3, three, three, they'll just be able to reheal their Mighty Poro and make it a lot larger. Whew. This is not good. This is not good. Hey, Sanctuary Tank. How's it going? That that interrogative improvement's just gonna win them the the game. Like this this just mighty poro. I can't deal with this thing. We're gonna have to atrocity. You know, we're gonna have to like block and atrocity. Speak, I say. So what happens if I play okay, so if I play Heart of the Fluffed, so it's a four four, then it gets plus three, so seven, plus three, ten, plus one, eleven, so it'll be an eleven eleven. I guess an 11 11 is not bad. Maybe I just try that. Yeah, I guess let's just try that. Let's try it. So if I don't block, I go down to three. Because three would just die to a bunch of burn spells. Yeah, this is... This is a really nice combination they got going on here with these the Metro of the Stones and these things. Like this is really nice. We haven't actually had an, an anything die this game, so they who endure is still a one one. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I can't. I can't figure out the line. I can't figure out the line to, to how I, I can kill them with atrocity here with this heart of the fluff. I can't figure it out. Join the glorious evolution. I did, and zero regrets. Uh, left for a snack. And if I, I this if I do this. Then they have the 11-3 block my 11-11, then my 11-11's dead, so I don't I don't get to, like, then also atrocity the 11-11 after overwhelm damage. But we can we can kind of see how they block. Like, maybe they don't make that block. Maybe they make a, you know, maybe they make a poor block and allow me to atrocity. I mean, I think that's my best play is hope they don't have their 11-3 block my 11-11. Wow. Yeah, I guess that's I guess that's the best play sometimes is just 
You know, don't assume your opponent's going to make the best blocks. Okay. There we go. Heart of the Fluffed Atrocity. Boom. And that's why you play Atrocity. It just steals, steals games that maybe you don't deserve to win. I think our opponent was a newer player. Maybe they didn't expect, you know, they weren't expecting Atrocity. I like, I already like this. Katarina Vladimir. Opponent's deck looks really cool. Alright, they who endure, get out of here. <laughs> I'm not like the, the they who endure so far. But we'll just mulligan all those. Um, good. Yeah, it's going to be really difficult to win that if they would have just had their 11-3 block my 11-11. But they, they didn't. Alright, we got the Challenger Poro. I'd like to draw either a um, Blighty Caretaker or a or a Braum. Battle Fury. These landmarks are killing me. I'm going to wait on this affection for him. Wait. I guess that's not a good attack because they just block and then turn these, this Ruthless Raider into a 4 1. But then I get a 4 3. For the Empire. Boom. Do, 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 do. The winter's claw. Ha! What have horrors done to you? So the most likely thing here is some kind of protection spell, like a troll chant type card, or you know, elixir of iron, you know, anything kind of like that. Flash freeze, okay. And that's, of course, fine with me. So I can miss call and bring that back. So we can go miss call, affectionate Poro. I don't think I want to miss call that, though. Let's get another mighty Poro in play. I'm very happy with them using that flash freeze right now before we buff things up for good. Very glad that Flash Freeze is out of their hand. I could pass here. That's a lot of mana that they waste. A pass doesn't sound that bad. I don't like them wasting all that mana. Okay. So this is kind of weird. I need 10 mana to be able to play Avalanche Miscall and Gluttony all together. But I want Avalanche because basically I want, you know, I want to turn these things into 4 threes. Take 
All right, so how many things have we had die this game? If I... Gluttony. I don't know how this is going to work out for me. Yeah, I'm really scared of the Scar Mother. I'm really, really scared of Scar Mother. But also, like, the other thing is... Okay. The other thing is, I don't have room for Miss Call, I don't think. Do I? Maybe I do. I'd never keep my guest waiting. Unfortunately, that looks like that's probably game. Yeah, that's probably game. Where can I find a full body ray? The winter's claw. Clear it out. Especially if they if they have any spell. Like maybe if they have no spell, maybe. But any spell. No, it's it's actually no, it's just game anyway. Yeah, I go down to exact zero. <sighs> See, even, like my best, this is my best play, but I go down to exactly zero. That's my best play. Oh, I guess I guess maybe switch these two. Oh, I could have switched these two and gone gone down to one. Yeah, I could have switched these two and got it down to one. Next time, we will do better. Scar Mother's really tough to play against. That's a that was a really weird game. Okay, I like Lonely Poro into Caretaker. All right, now even better with Curse Keeper into Caretaker. I definitely know I didn't play that game perfectly. That was just, that's a really weird game. Sorry, Lonely Poro. There you are. Prime and ready. A ticket to the gun show. We grow up so fast. Yeah, I wonder if there's a way to kind of... I like a lot of the stuff that our deck has going on, but we do not... We need to make larger They Who Enders, right? So how do we make larger They Who Enders with this kind of deck? How do we have more things die? 
Withering Will looks like my least favorite card in the deck. I think I'd rather have Withering Will even be like Grasp the Undying. Or Black Spear. Black Spear could be pretty cool. But with us already having Avalanche, I don't I don't think Withering Withering Will and Avalanche don't those don't really fit. We need basically we need we need cards that can kill like you know some champions and things like that for our other removal spell. Or or just other like, you know, units that die. Uh let's see. But this this is looking like a pretty good avalanche, I think. Or will we wait? So assuming they're gonna have a lot of one health one cost allies that have three health, this could be a really good avalanche plus withering will combination. You know, I know I was just saying that I don't like avalanche or withering will, but I mean I think this could end up being pretty nice for us, like the combination of the two. Tremble before the winter's claw. Hapless Aristocrat's the worst card to see for me. Stay out of my way. It's not a good one either. I survived a few winters. So this is why I did not cast Avalanche the previous turn, is because Avalanche would not have killed the Professor Von Yip at the time, and so they still were gonna be able to do this. So I need I need like my Avalanche to kill Professor Von Yip. I still can't play both Avalanche and Withering Whale together in the same turn, but I need I need to be able to kill Professor Vanya. And so I'm, I'm kind of waiting to be able to play both of them so that they have more one cost units. Break the strong, slaughter the weak. Treasures of the ages. I think we're going to be fine. So this next turn I'll I'll have the combination of these two. Yeah, we look like we're going to be fine. Makes sense for this one to be first. Basically to do more damage, because we do an additional point of damage to whatever they play next. So now those scuttlers are four ones. Well, that's not the best for me. So if I take it, we go to 8. If I block with a 4-5, we take 7 and go to 13. It's not the best heart of the flush, but it's just going to be a 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay. That probably kills them. No, yeah. 12, yeah, probably. Nope, okay. So they, they made the block they needed to to stay alive, right? Because then this is 12 minus 3 is to 9. So yeah, they go to 1 if I Battle Fury this thing. Alright, so we're going to Battle Fury over here. So 
So that's risky. Because if they have another large one drop, um, another five plus power one drop, I lose. Hooray! But it'd be difficult without the Pro Professor Von Yip to get a five plus power one drop. Ugh. Since they're three ones. I don't really want to use Blighted Caretaker right now. I can Atrocity away the Curse Keeper and kill a 3-1 with it. You gotta love these meme tier decks. You just We find ourselves in situations that we never think we'd find ourselves in. I think the Caretaker is more valuable than the Atrocity. Especially against a deck that's just playing all sorts of one drops. Man, we are so good at this game. We are so good at this game. Look at me doing the un unorthodox play of using the atrocity and just getting paid off so well for doing it. GG's. Man, what a, what a crazy game. That was pretty awesome. That was two fun decks against each other. Yeah, whenever, whenever they dropped that uh, They Who Ender, I was, I, I was like feeling great about the game, right? Then they dropped that They Who Ender, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, the, that's right. They stole the Endure from me, right? Because, yeah, they're not even a They Who Endure deck. I didn't even think about that. Right, they stole that from me with the Black Market Merchant. Oh, man, that's... Oh, wow, talk about a perfect car for... Right, because they weren't Freljord. They were PNZ Bilgewater. I don't know why that didn't, that didn't even register to me. Um, yeah, that, that's a perfect card to steal, right? Whenever we killed, like, had, like, those sweepers that killed all their stuff. Crazy, man. Crazy. Okay, so there's a lot of cool stuff going on with this deck, um, but I think that we do kind of need to make both Heart of the Fluffed and They Who Endure a little better. I think that we kind of struggle with both of those. Um, I think that the weakness in our deck is going to be the Withering Whale and the Mist Calls. I think that those are the those three cards are unnecessary, um, and I don't know if like three Gluttony, like Gluttony. I know, like, that's kind of, like, the, the really cute thing of, like, Gluttony, the Heart of the Fluff, they hinder, but maybe three might be too many. We saw, like, with those games, like, we don't, I don't know if you need three of them. So what I think I'd recommend is, we, I think we need just more units to die. <laughs> that's what it kind of feels like, right? Um, yeah, it kind of feels like we need more blockers for, for Endure. And we kind of need more Poros for Heart of the Fluff, but Heart of the Fluff was awesome with Mighty Poro. I kind of want, like, another Mighty Poro. What if... Trying to think of some things to do. So I'm kind of thinking that like maybe like this deck could like incorporate stalking shadows and that could get you like multiple bodies, right? Like it can be it can be two bodies that you know like two things either like two poros for a heart of the floft or two uh bodies for they who endure. That could and like then then that would also help you like, you know, find some different things later on. Stalking Shadows seems like it could fit pretty well in here. Yeah, you can get you can get like yeah, Stalking Shadows could get you multiple Lonely Poros or mul multiple Poro Herders that then gets you more Poro Herders and stuff like that. And so if we... Because like, I think that would be better than Miscall, for example, right? Like of, of a similar type card. Um, like Stalking Shadows, I think, is, would be a better Miscall. And I, so I think I would probably recommend just playing two Gluttony. And maybe if you take out the, the Miscall and one, one of the Gluttonies, then you can get three Stalking Shadows in instead. And then you can, you know, like double up on any of these things. That could be pretty cool. And then I, so like, like I was talking about, I think I'd rather have Withering Whale be, like we already have Avalanche for decks that go wide. I think these days being able to kill three health champions is just super, super important. So I'd rather it be like Grass the Undying to be able to do that. But honestly, with our deck with things dying and just like for mana purposes, I think I'd rather just play a Black Spear. So I think that's what I would do is I would, I would take that out for a Black Spear and then 
Um, even though I know I know the Withering Well was pretty clutch, like that last game we just played, but that's not that's not gonna happen that often, right? Uh, but we already have Caretaker and Avalanche for go wide stuff. But I think that we need to be able to kill something that's a little bit bigger. And so yeah, let's let's play a Black Spear in here. Okay, so that's just a couple of very small changes that I kind of recommend for the around the edges for this deck to you know try that out. Um, but there we go. So that so that that should hopefully help. Uh, some different stuff. So that's the Fluffed Endures. Cool deck here to start off Meme Tier Monday. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments about the deck. Let me know what you think of it with uh, Heart of the Fluffed, They Who Endure, Gluttony, Combo. Um, we got a new region coming up. We got new cards coming up in just a couple of days with Sharima. Leave those comments. Let me know what, what cards you're super excited about. What kind of decks you want me to, to see me build right away. Um, all that kind of stuff. Uh, got any, you know, questions, comments, you know, want to talk, if you want to talk new cards, you know, definitely hit us up there on the, uh, YouTube comments or also in the discord channel as well. All right. But that's all I got here for the fluffed endures. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.